Welcome back YouTube, Motorblade here. Today I am going to give you my 5,000 mile review of the ILM helmet. This helmet has been with me since the beginning. I got it before I took my MSF course and honestly it was just before I knew anything about helmets, before I knew about the DOT rating and how piss poor it is compared to the Snell independent rating and all of those safety standards. But I bought this helmet on Amazon and it does meet DOT standards as most helmets do, as all helmets should at least. And I would wager to say that it's probably the best helmet I could have bought, especially for the money on Amazon. If you guys want to see this helmet on Amazon or get it for yourself, I do recommend it. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out on there. But this helmet has been pretty awesome. It's what I use for all of my moto vlogging. I use a full face helmet uh, for moto vlogging because I need to be able to have the microphone inside and out of the wind if I can. And even with it out of the wind, sometimes the wind noise is still terrible, depending on the speed I'm going. But this helmet is a great helmet for the price. And uh, it was 50 when I bought it. I think they've actually increased the price to like 60 now because I think it just got really popular. So they took advantage of that. But it comes with a neck skirt for keeping your neck warm in the winter. It's got two interchangeable visors. It comes with a clear and a tinted, which is really nice because, you know, well, most helmets only come with one visor. I mean, you'd be lucky to get two in a high-end helmet. But for them to include two with this, I thought that was a great deal. The ventilation, you got two vents on top, one in the front near the chin, and uh, they're decent. I'd say they weren't engineered that great, but again, I can just crack my visor a little bit and get plenty of air. So that's not a big deal. The helmet has been comfortable for 5,000 miles. That's what I've really had this helmet for between the Vulcan S and the Chief Dark Horse here and every other motorcycle that I've done a test ride on in between. They've all been with this helmet. It's stayed comfortable. It's got a nice quick release underneath, which is super convenient for quick on and off. I don't have to thread a, a piece of webbing through the D-rings or anything. So that's been really great. Overall, it's a good helmet. I would say it's a little noisy at highway speeds. That's the one thing that I know now that I didn't know, of course, at the time when I just started riding motorcycles because at that time I was too nervous to get on the highway. I stayed off the highway for a very long time and even when I did start doing the highway with the Vulcan S, it was terrible doing it on that little bike. Highways now on the Chief Dark Horse, just like butter. It's like being in a Cadillac. But the helmet can be a little noisy at highway speeds. There are quieter helmets out there, but not for this price. The liners inside of this helmet around my cheeks uh, they do come out, they are removable so you can wash them. I have modified this helmet of course for the microphone for the GoPro and I also have my knockoff Cena headset in there and if you guys haven't seen my video on that, that is a great little headset. I mean it's like 40 bucks and it works just as well as a Cena. I'll throw a link to that in the description too, to that video and to the product on Amazon. But I have both of those wired in the helmet and I carefully just made some little incisions in the fabric just to run my wires out of the way and set it up. It works great, no complaints. The helmet, to me, isn't heavy, and I know that can be a complaint of a lot of guys with full face helmets as they get heavy over time. Never had a problem with this helmet. It's lightweight enough that it's comfortable for longer rides, yet it feels very durable for impact protection. So I'm going to show you guys the helmet uh, up here in a second. I'm going to take the GoPro off the front, turn around and take a look at the actual helmet itself and show you guys how it's kind of held up over 5,000 miles and some of the battle scars that it has from those 5,000 miles and how the paint and uh, quality has held up during that time. So as you guys can see, I've got the tinted visor on here right now. It's nice, it's got uh, several adjustable positions. In front here, if you can see through my GoPro mount, I've got the, uh, get that out of the way. I've got my vent for the front, open closed, up on top, 
I've got vents I can open up up here and close. It's got some scratches on it. Um, the matte black color I think scratches a little easily. It's kind of the exact color of the GoPro Hero 5. If you guys know what that looks like. So it matches all up pretty well. Overall, this helmet has been great and I highly, highly recommend it. So that's going to do it for this short video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the ILM full face helmet. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. That lets me know you appreciate what I'm doing and you like the videos I make for you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. That's the big red button that says subscribe on it. It's down there somewhere on the screen, I'm sure. Hit the bell icon next to it and that will let you guys uh, get notifications when there are new videos ready for you to watch. Comment down below if you guys have this helmet or if you're considering purchasing it. Any questions you guys have, I would love to hear from you guys. So please be sure to leave a comment down below. Talk to me. Until next time, y'all, be careful out there. Ride safe, ride on, and I will catch all of you later. Deuces!